Hi everybody out there. I just like to say uh, hi to my mother. I made it. I'm a YouTube sensation. I uh, I'm gonna unbox this today. The RCT SO2. Why? Because there's no unboxing videos on the internet that's actually worth it. We're gonna unbox it, plug it in, maybe do a bench test or something. Um, yeah. So let's get to it. Um, <clears throat> um, let me just. Uh, Get this plastic off. Great. Let's see what's inside. Whoa, almost feels like a <laughs> a nice cell phone box or something. Instruction manual. Oh, the device itself. Let's just get it out. Well, it's not that small. If you I suppose you can't fit more stuff into a little space like this. Let's get it out. So yeah. Intel inside. CASA approved. In our country everything needs to be CASA approved. Otherwise we can't get it. Um, USB ports. Oh, we'll just have a look what that is. Looks like a place where you can add a, a piece of a rope. Yeah. Oh, definitely a piece of rope and then you can hang it from your device wherever you plug it in this is the on and off power button i think these are breathing holes for uh, ventilation so yeah we'll we'll plug it in and see whatever uh, let's turn it around input power for it and i wish my phone can just stay focused on the device there we go so this will plug into your TV or screen or wherever you want to and I'm sure there's cables and everything in here for that let's just see yeah, this is a bit of an extension cable make it easy to if your TV's plugs are coming from or, or, or sticking out behind you'll use this to um, to hang the device or if your TV is just, uh, or the USB, oh, I mean the HDMI ports is easily accessible on the side or at the bottom, then you can just plug it in like that, maybe if, it, if it'll fit. So that's just a little extension cable to make it easy to fit it. This is the USB, micro, micro USB to USB adapter. Let me just see. Oh, it's got a USB port, which... Um, which is a bit small for anything else to plug in so I guess you'll use this to just plug in a normal flash disk or whatever um, there's the power adapter for the device um, if I'm not, I don't know how much power this thing can deliver it looks like uh, it's too amp so we'll see if it can start up a I don't know like a 500 gig or a terabyte hard drive or something external storage so let's get to it okay i've decided to do it like this i uh, don't mind the milk carton at the back of this this is only to a place where we can put our wires and stuff when we don't use them um, let's just see this goes into dc 5 volt so this powers up the device and this is then just going into the HDMI I'm putting it uh, on the back of a normal screen and uh, I'm gonna attach a wireless USB keyboard and mouse and then boot it up this is Microsoft's uh, wireless 2000 keyboard and mouse um, this is the ones I'm gonna use um, I think these are packaged with batteries let me just see hopefully <laughs> so I don't know if I've got um, yeah okay amazing so this is the keyboard it's got media keys and everything on there a uh, very nice keyboard for a media center or if you just want a nice keyboard and mouse with your device that is wireless uh, it's got a decent receiver hopefully it'll do a bit better than those small ones they um, tend to get 
a bit wacky when there's a cell phone or some other signals close to them okay let me plug this in so everything has been installed and let me show you guys how quickly this thing boots up it's just this little stick pc and see boots up in about 15 seconds I think was <laughs> 16 17 18 oh it's connected to the Bluetooth speaker already so maybe that takes up a bit of time but yeah there we go everything of my Liking has been installed. I've installed Kodi. I like Kodi to play my media at home. I will ins I will connect this to my media center uh, or my shared my NAS at home. Um, but yeah, I've just quickly installed something to bot fighting is not see if it works. Betting on bot fighting, that's, that's illegal. So yeah, Kodi is working. Um, let's just exit here. Uh, then, yeah, everything else is, is, I mean, it's working, it's, the machine is quite fast, I am, I'm happy with whatever I want to do, I can connect, oopsie, connect uh, remotely to my PCs, yeah, whichever one I want to. Ah, there we go. Remotely connected to one of my PCs. Uh, the reason I'm going to use it for, or what I'm going to use it for, is just for actually media playback and browsing the web and doing stuff like that. A bit of maybe training and, and stuff. So uh, I think it's going to be much, well, it's much quicker than I need it. So I didn't know it's going to be this quick. Uh, and after all the things I've installed, I've still got about 10 gigs left. I will insert maybe an SD card later on. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. So, thanks for watching and enjoy.